Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Nick the Undead Saxon. Welcome on into another Dreamcatcher video. I'm very excited for this one because today I'm going to be reacting for you guys to Dreamcatcher's Odd Eye music video on the Dreamcatcher official YouTube channel. I do want to say thank you to all of you who have been giving me comments over the last couple weeks. It feels great to be back and this is the best thing out of it all. I get to see all you guys' uh, reactions to my reaction, and I get to see all the beautiful insight that you guys go ahead and give me in terms of, like, what the videos are truly about, and all the, you know, beautiful and, you know, very loving comments that you guys go ahead and give me based off, like, my interpretations of said songs. You know, it really doesn't mean a lot. It really makes this whole, you know, thing super worth it. It makes me look forward to it every single week I'm doing this. Um... And I would really quick want to go ahead and give out a few shout outs, uh, and that's going to be first of all Calvin Mitchell. I shouted him out on the last Dreamcatcher video because uh, he's the one that kind of gave me a quick, like, small, uh, what is it, very simplified explanation of the whole trilogy as a whole. In this one, Adai, he said in a simplified version that see no evil or future. That's what this one's going to be about. You know, and I, I, I'm really excited because that sounds like an amazing concept to me. I want to go ahead and throw out another shout out to DK because she gave me a whole paragraph worth of insight. And I really, really enjoy the fact that, you know, I get this interaction from people because, you know, it, it feels like, you know, we're actually connecting as a whole in the community, you know. And I, I love the fact that, you know, they went ahead and gave me an entire, like, like almost like a thesis on what the whole trilogy is all about and that honestly is just all the worth it so i'm just gonna go ahead and shut my mouth i know what you guys are here for you're here for the reactions so let's get into it i went ahead and have the ca captions put on just so you know i've been suggested to do that and you know what it sounds like a decent idea so let's go ahead and do that in three two one here we go okay Oh, that looks like a mask. It's TV static. Okay. Oh, sounds very ethereal. Okay, I'm really loving the whole like uh, extra world visuals. There's the tree again. Mmm, perfect illusion. I like that. Mmm. This feels like... This feels like this is about, like, how two-faced people can be. Mmm. Rock elements in this is... Mm. It's not too much, it's not too little. Mm. want to change in a hurry. Mm. Mm. 
This is definitely a group I plan on listening to more on a daily. Oh my god. In the end, the Dreamcatchers couldn't find the utopia that they dreamed of. Holy crap! Oh, uh, okay, well, we're gonna go ahead and stop it right there. Holy crap! I think that's probably my favorite out of them all. That was actually really, really good. Wow, okay. So, so like, based on what I said earlier, right, I, I noticed that there was a lot of elements of, like, masks, and, you know, uh, typically, my, like, my philosophy when it comes to a mask, right, in terms of a figurative sense, right, is that you see, like, people like Robin Williams, right, the late and great, you know, rest his soul, right, uh, you see people like him, and this is tend to be for most comedians out there, right? They put on a happy face and everything else, right? They put on a happy face and everyone thinks that they're doing good, but it's really just a false mask that underneath it, right, they're completely crushed. And their main goal with it, right, in making other people laugh and feel happy and everything else is, you know, so they don't have to feel the pain that that person is feeling at the moment, right? And, like, you know, I, I understand this feeling well. You know, I've had my own past issues, and I've had my own past sorrows and everything, and I did the same thing because I didn't want anybody else to feel, you know, down because of my emotions because I feed off the emotions of other people, and I know there's people out there that do the same, right? So I don't want my negative emotions to make them feel bad, right? So I throw out positive emotions, so they go ahead and feel happy and everything, right? Uh, so, like, you know, I understand that, that that's kind of like my uh, philosophy on, like, the whole, like, metaphorical mask thing, right? And I, I feel like, in a sense, that's kind of tied in with this, right? Because, like, I feel like this is almost, like, both on the sides of, like, the person that would be hurt, right? And the p person that is hurting people, right? In a sense, right? Because, it, like I said, it's almost like, uh, like how people can be two-faced sometimes, right? So... It's almost like, I, I'm trying to say this, in, I'm trying to think of the words to say this in a cohesive way that's super easy to understand. So, I feel like this is mainly from the perception of the person that is considered the bully, right? And it's like, you know, the whole point of like what bullies do is that they will, you know, hurt others to go ahead and make them feel, you know, bigger, feel better about themselves, right? That's the main thing because they're trying to mask their insecurities with the insecurities of others and exploiting them, right? That's just what a bully does, right? So, like, with such, right, um, I feel like that whole, like, uh, everlasting, like, you know, paradise and such like that, that they kept mentioning, like, you know, uh, breaking apart from reality and everything else, that's the feeling of, you know, the uh, artificial euphoria that they feel, right? When they put someone down and make themselves artificially feel better, right? But in the end, they can't escape what's actually inside and eating them up, right? It, like they said, like, you know, it's like, that's what their odd eye would be, right? It's kind of like that hidden thing that nobody sees, right? But it's actually, I think, supposed to represent, like, their insecurities and such that no one else sees, right? I, I could be completely wrong about this. Um, uh, I mean, that's the best guess that I can get out of this, right? Like, I, I love this song, absolutely. Like, this was instant banger, instant classic. Want to blare it out into my car all the freaking time. That's my plan, right? You know, and um, one thing I do plan on doing for a future video, probably not this weekend because I already got a plan about the same basis, right? But probably like a next weekend thing, I'm going to have my roommate, who I just moved in with, right? Because I have room switches, right? And, um, you know, he wants to get in on the videos as well. You know, he, he, he like talks, he watches some of my videos and he's like, oh man, that's really cool and all that, right? And so, you know, he, he wants to join in. I, I love that idea, right? It'd be cool, kind of cool to get a second person to, uh, you know, weigh in on this type of stuff, right? And um, the first video I do plan on having him on is uh, I'm going to have him react to, like, three specific, like, baby metal songs, right? Because baby metal is where my channel really started to grow, you know? And I kind of want to throw him into the water with that, right? So, uh... In the comments, if you guys have any suggestions for said, like, baby metal songs, if you do listen to them, like, the specific three that you want him to react to, throw them down, and I plan on doing that probably when he, uh, like, 
probably like tomorrow or something like that. And I'm and I want to try to get them uploaded uh, tomorrow if possible, if not some point next week, right? Um, but also, I do plan on having him react to this uh, the uh, dystopias trilogy. I want him to react to all three of these songs, right? Because I want to get his opinion on it and everything else. And you know, I, I kind of want him to see you know how beautiful it is as well, and like the whole sides of it because you know he he shares a lot of the sentiments i do he ha uh, has gone through a lot of the similar things that i have right so i feel like he might have uh the same reaction if not a little bit more insight into what he believes the songs actually mean right and it would be totally different for him to react to it because he's never you know been into like you know foreign music or anything else like that he kind of listens to more like chill step type of like you know like laid back you know em songs songs with emotion you know, like, good stuff, right? So, um, yeah, I do plan on having him uh, react to this entire series because I hope that he gets the same reaction that I did because this is an absolutely positive message. Well done, Dreamcatcher. I'm going to be listening to you more and more. However, i got to be careful because I've only reacted to three songs. I want to react to as many songs as I can for you guys to get a first reaction rather than me find out new songs on my own and accidentally listen to them and I can't get a reaction for you guys. You know, that's kind of like the tricky thing in this sense. So, um, yeah, that's definitely that's definitely probably my favorite out of the three because it, I like the balance of the EDM, the rock, and a little bit of rap sprinkled into it, right? It's like it's like food, right? And I'm kind of getting this because I've been re-watching Food Wars lately, you know, so it's just a perfect analogy in my head, right? But, like... They're all different flavors and everything, and they constantly, if you try to mash them up, if you're not careful, they're going to conflict each other, right? They're going to, they're, they're going to kind of like, you know, over one's going to overpower the other two, oh, excuse me, you know, and the rest is just not going to be thrown, to, like, it's going to be thrown all out of balance, right? But Dreamcatcher, for some reason, has been able to implement all these genres in a perfect balance and synergy to where you get the full uh, understanding and flavor of all of them, right? Of all the genres that they throw in, right? You get the full sense of what they're getting at, right? Like the EDM, the rock, the rap, they're not o overbearing on each other. They mash up so perfectly that it causes just an entire like evolution of a music genre. It, it's just absolutely phenomenal. I absolutely love this. I Ah, man, there's no words that I can say to truly get my feeling about this group. I do absolutely love this. So, yeah. Um, I will say thank you once again to everybody that has been commenting and suggesting these groups, right? If you have any more groups that you want me to listen to, I plan on getting to them at some point, right? Um, and uh, the next trilogy I'll probably do for Dreamcatcher will probably be the first trilogy because I've been told that this is the second out of the, uh, all their uh, songs and storylines, which is also a nice touch. I love the whole storyline aspect. But, um, yeah, uh, I do plan on doing that. Uh, in terms of baby metal, right, I'm planning on using the reactor resource and everything. Uh, I do want to get back into Bish reactions because Bish is absolutely perfect i love fish they're fucking batshit crazy and i love it right um and any other groups that you guys like really want me to react to i'm game for also i will say thank you thank you for getting me up to over the 600 sub mark you know i've been sitting nice and pretty at 575 no big deal but now i'm over at 600 and i saw that when i woke up the other day and i'm like what <laughs> it, it took me off guard you know i completely did not see that coming in one night you know and so with that i just want to say once again thank you very much it does actually mean a lot to me 600 is not a big mark for a lot of youtubers but i'm not trying to do this you know to necessarily you know you know make a living off of this because you know i got my own job i got the navy i got all this good stuff right you know i got my own things going for me right now right but like you know, like, it does mean a lot that I do get that because, you know, I like building the community and I like getting more like-minded people together because that's exactly what music does. That's my sentiment about music. And it's just, you know, it, it's a constant cycle of just absolutely beautiful things happening, 
you know. So with that, I think I'm just going to go ahead and leave it off there. There's not much else I can say that's not already been said. And I, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I will leave a link into the Discord as always. If you guys want to join, you can join anytime. It's no big deal. It's constantly open. And that's a better way for me to get reaction requests because, um, you know, I'm always on Discord and such. So with that, I've been the Ended Sex. You guys have been an absolutely amazing audience. And I must say thank you once again. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.